All right, so um, I thought a video might be a quicker way to kind of explain how the HTML templates that um, that I put together uh, work within our learning management system. So we use uh, Brightspace uh, by D2L, so formerly known as Desire to Learn or D2L, um, and it has this really cool uh, feature that they call templates. Um, so if I'm going to go in here and, and create a new file, it gives me um, an HTML file here. Um, and you can see it just has a, an HTML editor. This is real similar to Canvas, just a little bit of a different look. Um, but up here is where all those templates uh, that I shared live. So uh, if I put in a blank one, you'll see that it automatically throws that in there. Um, we can look at the HTML and see that it pulls all of that stuff in. Um, so um, the really cool thing it comes when we look at things like the media page. Um, so when I come in here, this looks like a video, um, but it's actually a um, just a picture, um, and it's a placeholder so that I can um, sit here and go in and do uh, my insert stuff button. Uh, we'll come here to YouTube, and um, I, I know this is a, a, a commercial for my school here, so I can do next. Uh, I can do insert, and you'll see it sticks it right within that nice frame border. Um, Really, all I need to do is is go in here on the view on YouTube and um, change this link, um, which you see you can all do through uh, the UI. So, so it makes it really simple um, to kind of use these. So a couple of these we actually uh, like the news magazine template that we put in here. Um, if you take a look. Um, there's just a bunch of lorem ipsum in here, but um, it kind of shows you best practices for um, putting stuff together. So um, we've got, you know, a couple call out boxes, things like that, colors that were for um, uh, for our school. Um, obviously, this one's kind of atrocious, but um, it was put in there just to if you have something that really needs to stand out for you, you can do that. Um, the beautiful thing about this is all this is central. Um, so like our syllabus, um, I think we have in there. So um, plug and play. Um, but the, the beautiful thing about this is all this is central through a, an admin tool in here. Um, so if we have a change to the CSS, uh, I can throw that in. And because, let's scroll down a little bit, because um, there is a link to that CSS, um, we can change it to whatever we want. Um, so if we figure out that, hey, the blue and the yellow here um, that are uh, differentiating uh, each individual line um, aren't, aren't the right colors, they're too dark, there's not enough contrast, or uh, we want to change the table header row um, to a different color to make it stick out, we need to change the table caption. Um, anything like that can be done centrally, uh, and it, it trickles down to folks who, uh, who already use these. Um, gives us some sense of, uh, I, I don't know, I guess, uh, consistency between courses when they're built and um, also allows us to kind of display, uh, like here's a, a table used for um, for a schedule, gives us a, a chance to uh, make those things more accessible. So if we look in here, um, you can see that we have uh, headers for, with scopes and um, all that kind of information that isn't necessarily put in when you just do, oh, insert table. Um, so these are supposed to be accessible, usable, and, and integrate right here within Brightspace. 